Hello everybody, I'm The Basement and welcome to Tokyo Dark. It looks really fun this game, hence therefore I shall play it. Let me know if you want to see a lot more of this, you can even click the menu like this. Hey, 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 10 out of 10 games straight away. Consider your actions, the decisions you make will change the world around you and how your story unfolds. Autosave makes every decision final, there's no going back. Click to continue. Okay then, so there's no manual save? There's only trains going past Squish Smash Wars. So I think this game is supposed to be quite dark. See, look at this. Crazy lady already. Look at it. Detective Ito. When I close my eyes, she's always there. Investigation plus one. Yeah! <laughs> smiling. Always smiling. Whoa. Nanda? What is this? Tanaka. What's your badge doing in a place like this? We're getting investigation points. Who? Where are you? Hi. Mm. I like that the uh, voice acting is Japanese. That is very nice. I like that. I can't stand watching uh, animes in English. Uh, dubbed English. It's it's very cringy. It's not what it's supposed to be. Japanese vo voice actors are amazing as well. So. Ito, where are you? I've been trying to reach you for 20 minutes. I guess this means you've heard about his phone? Yeah, Saki told me. I'm on my way to Shinjuku now. I couldn't wait for the uniforms to miss another chance. We've narrowed down the GPS signal to a back alley in the east part of town. You're the only detective I trust that's near it. That said, I'd be an idiot not to send in a team behind you. Lucky for us, it doesn't look like it's moved in the last 40 minutes. What's your ETA? Should be there in about 10 minutes. How long until your team arrives? At this rate, about 20 minutes behind you, Ido. We have no idea what you're talking about. So no heroics. Find the phone, discover where you can, uh, how it got there, and then report straight back to HQ. Understood? Hi, hi. I know this one's been especially tough for you. He's your partner and I understand that you want to be the one to bring him home, but... Well, are you going to be okay being back in the field? I know it's been a while since the um, incident, so you can't blame me for being a little hesitant. Remember to keep an eye on your spin attributes from time to time by pressing the escape key. I'm taking a big risk and testing you with this. We can't have another repeat of Kamakura. What happened to Kamakura? I'm fine, sir. I have everything under control. I report it once I find the phone. Behind the pleasantries, it's plain as day that Yukimura still doesn't trust me to be on my own. The day Tanaka went missing, the uniforms completely ruined the crime scene. There's no way I'll let that happen again. Hold on, Tanaka. I'll be there soon. Cool. We just commuted and found some stuff. Nice boots. Urewa! Ito this. It's near that by all. Five days ago, my partner, Detective Kazuki Tanaka, vanished after leaving police headquarters. There was no sign of him. We had no leads. From one of the most popular cities on Earth, he simply disappeared. That is, until an hour ago when his phone was, was mysteriously switched on. <laughs> Tracing led me here to this grimy road on the east side of Shinjuku. Nothing good ever happens in this part of town. Alrighty then, so we got a click and points. Who would have known? Can we enter this? Close. Not like I have time for the chicken tonight anyways. What about this? Is this the same? No, it's not. Ooh, non the data by yo. Let's talk to this guy first. Hey you! There you go. Evening, sir. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh, what's supposed to be then? <laughs> oh, I think this one's with the police, honey. Detective Ido. Or Ito. Tokyo Metropolitan Police, that's the name. Police, huh? My name's Goto. Hmm, is the gun real too? Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Maybe you can show me your gun and I can show you mine. Her, her, her. Oh. <laughs> Charming. How about we stick to the questions? You seem like a regular. Have you seen this man tonight? Oh, I don't know. See these glasses, Detective Otto? 
<laughs> my eyes say it's not so good. Why don't you come over here and sit on my knee so I can take a closer look? Yeah, hentai ichi this me. I'll pass. <laughs> Listen, I tried to help you, but if you want it, that's fine. If you don't want it, that's fine with me. Snort. What a sleaze bag. Let's talk to her instead. Konnichiwa. Sumimasen. Oriwa detective Ito desune of the Tokyo Net Metropolitan Police. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> Could smell the cup on you <laughs> the minute you stepped through the door. Yeah, sure. Ask away. But make it quick. Usually starts getting busy around here now. Whatever. Whatever she said. Okay. Did you have any strange clientele? Tonight? Anyone out of the ordinary? Tch. You. For a start. <laughs> but no, detective. It's business as usual. Uh, what does he want to say now? What do you want, Goto? Go to hell, that's what I say. That's what I say. Hostess. Oh, investigation. Uno plus a one. -oh. Listen, honey. As much as I love to keep snorting, shooting the breeze. Snorting. <laughs> If you want to keep talking, you can buy a drink like everyone else. Hmm. This hostess seems pretty cagey. She might open up after a drink. But then again, maybe not. I need to be careful here. Well, let's live on the dark side of the moon. Let's order a drink. Alright. I could afford to take a load off. I'll take a shot of whiskey on the rocks. Ugh. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Smooth. One won't hurt. You serious? Uh, okay, most cops don't exactly order drinks out in the open. Well, you did say we couldn't keep talking without a drink. Now I've had my drink, so let's go get us talking. What do you want me to say? Listen, lady. I don't own the place. I just work here. So if this is some sort of sting or something, leave me out of it. It's bad enough to have mouth breathers like Goto over there chatting me up all night. Don't worry. It's not a setup. Seems like it's been some bad things happening in this part of town tonight, is all. Ha! Bad things, huh? You rookie. No, not by a long shot. Well, you sound like one. Bad stuff happens here all the time. Seems like every other day I'm hearing whispers of someone getting beaten or a scam going on. Anyone whispered to you tonight? No. As a matter of fact, they haven't, officer. Now, as stimulating as the conversation was, I'm all out of goodwill for tonight. Good luck, lady. Oh, what is this? Keypad? For such a grimy looking door, that sure is a fancy lock. Without a code, there's no way I'm getting in. Well, we gotta find a code then. Oh, cannibalized. Okay, so here's the dumpsters. Okay, listen. No doubt about it. That's Tanaka's phone, all right. But who would put it in there? Huh. What a stench. It's locked up tight. Okay, let's inspect the lock. No way, I can't pry it open or jimmy it open. Okay, we got we got to shoot it. We don't have any any solution. Boom. That's um. Uh, that's a good choice. <laughs> hey, can't believe that worked. Wait, Ayami, what are you doing? I can't use my gun like that in public. Good thing no one saw me. What about the shadows? Oh, that was bad for sanity and professionalism. That must be it. A filthy paper bag surrounded by a swarm of flies. The ringing is coming from inside. I'll need to fish it out of there and get a closer look. As I draw near, the familiar metallic scent of blood drifts into my nostrils. Written on the bag are two characters I know very well. Ayami. What the hell is going on here? Isn't that our name? Uh oh. I'm better than the gruesome red mass of Tanaka's phone. As I slide the phone out, I'm overwhelmed by the smell of rotting meat and the buzzing of flies. Ugh. Hello? Who is this? Oh, you finally picked up. I knew you would eventually. It's been a long time, Ayami-chan. How do you know my name? Where's Tanaka? Where are you keeping him? Shh. Ayami-chan, shh. 
Tanaka's right here with me in the sewer. Come down. There's something I want you to see. Okay, then. Let's just leave the bloody bag. For forensics. That's cool. Did we get anything? Pro? Oh, yeah, we got professionalism. Oh, what's this? Let's see what this is first. Hell no! What? <laughs> Warehouse worker Kobayashi. Whoa, whoa, later we're closed. What are you doing in here? Did, did you see that girl? See what now? The lights were flickering, so I came over. But the only girl I see is you. You all right, lady? You're like really, really pale. Yeah, I'm fine. So, um, this is like private property. So if you can just go out so I don't like, you know, talk to the police. You're talking to the police. <laughs> You're a cop? Whoa, what time are you, officer, sir, ma'am? I think I heard a gunshot or something outside. I mean, I don't know what a gun sounds like, but... I've seen movies. Sure you have. Warehouse worker Kobayashi. I was gonna go out to talk to the cops, but I thought... What if the guy is still out there? He's, he's totally gonna waste me. So I just decided to wait it out, you know? Good thing you showed up. Hey, do you smell whiskey? Um, no. That must be your imagination. Did you see anyone outside tonight? Around your dumpster, maybe? No, nah, man, I would know. Those dumps are a part of my responsibilities and stuff, and I'm pretty observant. The boss is, like, super harsh about making sure people don't, like, tamper with them or whatever. Anyway, you're super sure no one's outside trying to kill me, right? Because I gotta go and, like, finish my duties later. Okay, that was creepy then. So they have horror, horror, horror elements. Horror and horror elements, I guess. Whatever that means. And I'm pretty creeped out. I don't, I don't really want to go in the sewers. <laughs> Sewer drain. What is that? Blood? No. Only refreshed red paint. Whole thing reminds me of Kamakura and that girl. But there's no time to dwell on the past tonight. I have work to do. Alright, we're going to enter the sewers. But they won't budge. The red paint is on both sides, inside and outside. Someone here must know how to get in. Oh, now we can talk to him. Just tell me one thing. How did I get to that sewer thing down the street? Huh? Sewer? What kind of question is that? I don't know about some dirty sewer. Beg for information. Sewer? Does he have anything? He doesn't know what we're talking about. Oh, let's flirt with him. Hey, do you mind if I sit here? Sara was so rude. Is there some way I can make it up to you? Ooh. Well, that's one way. <laughs> really? I mean, yeah, you can sit here if you like. If you like. Hey, thanks. I think I'm overworked myself a little. You know what I mean? I heard you might know a little place that we could go and blow off a little steam. Just the two of us. Just the two of us? Her, her. <laughs> yeah, sure, I know this little hotel. Or there's this wild little spot. I only take my most special girls. But you'd have to play nice. This guy's a creep, man. You think I'm special, don't you? Why don't you give me a chance to prove it to you? I'll make it worth your while, if you know what I mean. Hey, yeah, I think I do. Well, whoever told you about the storm drain spoiled the surprise, see my special little spots in the sewer. I knew it. I knew this guy. I knew it. But there's a trick to opening it that only I know. I guess I can tell you. Her. <laughs> it's real simple. If you twist the leftmost bar to the right while twisting the one next to it, whew, to the left they pop off. Bet you're thinking I'm pretty smart, right? Yeah, I think you're really smart. Why don't you let me go ahead so I can um, change into a new outfit, okay? Wait for me, okay? Oh, so we went down in professionalism. Okay, let's get in here. Let's enter. Nice, so we twist that one. And then that one. Oh, we're in the sewer. Ugh. Oh, a photo. Ugh. That's disgusting. Yeah, lights. Someone has strung up some cheap lights. Intimate atmosphere. All right.
Right? What is this? It's a bloody... That's just fresh paint. Shrine gate. I wonder what the shrine's gate doing all down here after all this time. Maybe the builders were too superstitious to destroy it when the sewer was built. Kills the look. It's a gamble, but I can go there barehanded. I gotta think there's something around here I can use to climb down there more safely, though. Blood. The same fresh paint used on the wall and the drain outside. Whoever painted it must be close. Well, there should be something. Paints downward. I mean, rope on salary, man. Oh, yeah, we can get the rope and go down. Nice. That we shall do then. All right, we're slipping and slapping our way to the bar here. That's a bit too far. <laughs> I went too far. I went too long. Okay, let's show the photo to this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reason to believe you've been carrying rope on you. I need it. Her, her. Yeah, I think you do. Anyway. I don't know anything about some rope or whatever. I don't have time for this. Why was there a... I, that's the kind of thing isn't illegal. Her. her. <laughs> well, in your case, it definitely should be. No, it's not. Breaking into a sewer to do it, however, is. And this picture is pretty strong evidence to put you at the scene, don't you think? Hey, hey now, say why don't I trade you? I'll give you that rope and you can leave me that, give me that picture. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we got the picture. I mean the rope. <laughs> we gave him the picture. We got the rope. Nice exchangey. Why am I going down in professionalism? If I solve a case, that's enough professionalism, ain't it? That's what I would have thank. Alright, now that we got the rope, we can go down there safely. So it seems like you can do alternative things in this game. You can actually go down there without the rope. But, you're probably going to risk something and you're probably going to lose something of your stat-wise. Okay, let's use the rope to climb down. It's thin and uh, I know it's been used, but it's all I got. Don't break a leg! I, I know that's good luck, but you know. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Probably gonna lose some sanity now. Maybe. All right, we're down in the sewers. There's blood everywhere. Huh? <laughs> Nanda. Okay. At long last, I found Kazuki. His hands were bound, and his head was covered by a dirty, blood-stained sack. I'd gone in all business, ready to handle the situation quickly, get everyone home safe, and go back to normal life. My plans went out the window the minute I made it to this captor's face. It was a face I knew very well. Six months ago, when Kamakura Kazuki and I encountered her in a hostile situation gone wrong, she died. The cold eyes and unhinged smile that stared at me from the shadows at a end of the tunnel belonged to a girl six months dead. I stood frozen to the spot, unable to speak as I faced down the impossible. It must be a trick. That's what my subconscious whispered to me over and over to drown out the sound of my beating heart. The girl was surprised to see me. In fact, it seemed that my shock and surprise were what she wanted to see all along. The fact remained that I was alone. I hadn't told Yukimura where I was, and Tanaka's life was in her hands. It was me and her. A lone detective and a girl straight from a nightmare. Okay. Speak to Tanaka. Tanaka! Hang in, I'll get you out of this. Ito? Is that you? Get out, run! She's not watching you. Shh. 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 Don't waste time talking to her. You won't even speak to me? Not even hello? A konnichiwa? Or a long time no see, Ayami-chan? No, you just want to talk to him like he's not even here. Ayami, I'm sorry. Please, save yourself. Quiet! I mean, please be quiet, Tanaka. There, there. Shh. It'll all be over soon. And then we'll be together in the dark. So don't think about her anymore. What do you look like her? What is this? Look like who? 
I've looked this way for a long time. What you looking for, Yami-chan? The bullet in my head. I uh, won't fall for that. Anyone could have read about that case. Ayami, don't talk to her. Run, for both our sakes! Why? Why are you talking to her aside all of a sudden? You said you'd help me. Stop talking to her. I'm not going anywhere. We can both help you. No one needs to get hurt. <laughs> you mean like last time I'm come in Kamakura? No, Yami-chan. No more talking. You're going to sit there like a good girl and listen until we're done. Yami, forget what you've seen here and go. Save yourself. See? Tanaka's so caring. Even about a bitch like you. That's why he has promised to help me. So we don't need you. Shh. Can you hear that? The voices are back. You remember the little whispers, don't you? I knew it. I knew it would happen. And now I can take Tanaka with me. And he'll help me find the door. <laughs> it's like when I was little. There were police back then, too. <laughs> Don't you see, Ayami-chan? It's exactly like the last time. It'll work. Tanaka will be with me now. Everything will be different this time. This time it will be let me go. I won't let you take him from me. He promised to help me, and now... Even you can't get in the way. Faced with the impossible, my mind raced in every direction to come up with a logical explanation. The clothes, the hair, the mannerisms were all the same. But I still didn't believe. As once you mentioned the voice that my defenses began to wear down. There was no way she could have known what about that. I left it out of my reports in Kazuki and I didn't know about talk about it. I began to accept that the girl I faced really was the same girl into my nostrils the scent of cherry blossoms began to intermingle with the stink of sewage. I tried to focus on Kazuki and keep him talking, but the girl wouldn't let him. He sat a stranger under the hood like he was hurt. I knew I didn't have much time. Okay, what do I do? Draw a gun? Ask about Kamakura. Oh, sh Murdered me? No, it wasn't like that. I was trying to... T There's nothing you can do. I know it's confusing, but you have to run. It's your only chance to get out of this. Oh, you! Be a good little boy and hush now. You know, it almost sounds like you feel bad about it. Almost. All I wanted in Kamakura was a mask. But you were hiding it from me. I've been searching for it for so long, Amei-chan. So many difference. Then Tanaka showed up. He didn't look at me like, like I was some sort of rabid little animal, not like all the others. No, 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 not my Tanaka. He wanted to help me. Really help me. And I almost believed he would. Before, before you showed up. Well. We all know what happened after that, don't we? Poof, I woke up in the dark again. <laughs> I still can feel it. It hurt me, Ayami. It hurt me so bad. I was this close to changing everything, but you took it away from me. I wonder why someone so nice as Tanaka will be with someone so horrible like you. So I went after him instead. He gave me the mask. What's the mask? What? You don't believe me? He doesn't care about you, remember? He wants to help me. But the mask wouldn't wake up. Not like it didn't Kamakura. It wouldn't work if it's not awake. Oh, but Ayami, it worked. Everyone always called me stupid. But look at me now. Tanaka and I will be together and I'll finally find the door. But first, I have to send him there. I'm sorry, Tanaka. It's the only way you can help me. I want you to help me. Please, you promised. And you, Amami-chan, you can watch. Even though none of it had made any sense at the time, the girl truly believed every word she said. When she talked about Kazuki, her eyes lit up as she really believed he was her savior. The situation was deteriorating, and her grip on the knife hadn't loosened one bit. I had to keep her talking. Oh, Jesus. What's, what's the dark? 
Oh, jeez. We don't have a lot of time here. What's dark? Don't need to talk about that. Every time, that was always the same. Deep down the dark, dark is always breathing. Can't you hear it now? It's very close. It won't leave me alone. Ever since I was little. At least with the mask, it's quieter. I wonder what this mask thing is. It's kind of creepy, you know? It's kind of creepy. Don't want to be down here alone. I won't. The dreams, the darkness, wake up. He'll help me sleep. He'll help me once he can see, won't you, Tanaka? Why are you doing this? Ayami chan. Every day is the same, the same, the same, the same. It's like a new little adventure, the dark and the mask. Now we can start looking for the door. Everyone will. Oh! The stupid, selfish Ayami chan. You wanna know why I bought you here, huh? You're just here to wake it up. You're gonna save the day, wrong. Mm. I'll prove it. Stand right there. I'll show you what Tanaka thinks of you. Kazuki never called for help. Never protested. It was like he knew it was going to happen from the beginning. Casually, like she's done it a hundred times before, she slid the knife across his throat. Uh-oh. Damn. We couldn't save him. I tried my best. I'm actually going quite dizzy now. All this stuff happening. Uh, six months earlier. Ooh, okay, <laughs> that was that was a that was a game that I was we were playing and clicking stuff and getting crazy. I don't know. Let me know if you guys like this by leaving a comment or a like down below. Let me know if you want to see more. I'm not sure if you guys like this, so please be vocal about it. And I'll see you guys. In the next one, goodbye.